Hey everybody, Vicarious of Viking here. Welcome back to Nuclear Throne. And here I am already on the update screen. We're on update number 75 of the game. It's a little bit of a smaller update, but still a significant update nonetheless. Main features are interface progress, updated loadout screen, and various changes and fixes. More specifically, I'm going to read some of the actual features off the Steam announcement page for you guys. There's not a whole lot, so I'm going to actually just list all of them right now. Uh, an early version of the screen you stare at most, the new game over screen is introduced with a work in progress map. Uh, the exact words that were written on there. A big update to the loadout screen, now with tiny animations and allowing you to pick your starting weapon and B skin, which will later be something that you have to unlock. Gold weapons are also no longer lost when dying with them, and I guess the way it works is the last gold weapon that you had is the gold weapon that you will have, you know, in your character select screen. Uh, balancing, there's more range for the cluster launcher, grenade rifle, and grenade shotgun, and ravens now hang around a bit longer before activating, which I don't know exactly what they mean because I thought ravens kind of just were active immediately. Uh, the character select screen no longer starts with random selected, as you can see. Also, you used to be able to click on these characters to um, to select them. Uh, you know, I kind of hesitate to say this because I love the, the artwork for all these characters in the character select screen, but I kind of preferred it the way it was before, where you would just have like a little, like the in-game version of your gun underneath your character here, and clicking the character just kind of highlighted them there, and they didn't have this big whole thing, as nice as this looks, because all this art is great, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's it's a little cluttery, I guess I think I find, and uh, I also find that uh, in two-player, it just kind of overlaps, and they might, I'm sure they'll figure something out for that, but uh, sometimes I think less is more, and I think in that case, that's that's just my personal feelings, I mean, it's, it's not a big deal either way, I mean, the game's still super amazing, it's just... Probably me just being picky. Anyway, um, so a couple other little things. The uh, Techno Mancer HP now scales with loops, like all the other bosses, and uh, there's icons for all gold weapons. Uh, we can see one of them right now. There's the YVs, and uh, they redid the machine gun art because it was ridiculously long, this machine gun art. So uh, we're going to not do the daily yet, but we are going to play as Melting to get us all good at the bullet dodging and all of that good stuff. Uh, well, hopefully, anyway. Uh, and then uh, after this little melting run here, we'll, uh, we'll do the daily, and hopefully it will go really well. And there's a lot of these piles of mega corpses, which is nice, because as soon as they break open, you can just corpse explode them, and boom. And boom, three rads. Uh, we'll take the machine gun, sure. We will open this up as well. And that's going to get us all, like, over two and a half, which is good. And I'm going to go ahead and take a scarier face, actually, because it's great. And yeah. And that's the only reason. If I see Rhino Skin, there's a good chance that I might not even take it, because I'm going to try to uh, do something. I want to loop with Melting and get Melting's Ultra Mutation. And uh, uh, Spoilers, I kind of spoiled what Melting's Ultras were, because I just couldn't bear the curiosity anymore. I've never got two Ultra with Melting, which is crazy, because I play Melting a lot now, and I've had some good runs. Um, I missed it. I missed the Rad Canister. I did not think that was the end of the level. There is Throne Butt. Um, excuse me. Well, Throne Butt's what we took. We... we didn't take Rhino Skin, which many people might be like, you're crazy. How can you not take Rhino Skin? I want to take Rhino Skin, but, ah! Oh gosh. Big explosions. Oh, it's madness. It's a- Holy fucking jeez. That was nuts. Okay, good. He's just gonna fire at that, um, pile of dirt. The pile of- the fire at the dirt wall. That's fine. Okay. So, spoilers. I'm gonna tell you guys what one of the Melting Ultras are, if you don't already know, which is entirely possible that you do already know. It's, uh, one of them is you sacrifice half of your max HP, and then you get three more mutations. That's what it is. Uh, very tempted to take the wrench, but I'm not going to. I think we should be able to do just fine in this, this is sewer. I kind of regret this decision, because one hit and we're dead. So that's it. And... If we took that after we took Rhino Skin, Rhino Skin would not show up as one of the three possible mutations, and also, we would go down to 3 HP. But, if we take not Rhino Skin, and then we get our Ultra Mutation, uh, we'll go down to 1 HP, and then if Rhino Skin shows up after that, we'll go back up to 5, which to me sounds like the best way to do things. Not saying that we'll get there this run, but to be honest, we're almost halfway there because we're you know, level 4, basically. Soon to be level 5. Probably not gonna get level 5 in the sewers, but that's okay. Uh, 
a little tempted to take the screwdriver too so we could go to the mansion which I haven't been to in a while and the screwdriver is right up there just waiting for me just begging to be picked up um, you're dead okay do not touch do not touch the noxious gas kill three rats with one bolt here let's just let's just do that that's how we take care of this guy take care of him the old poisonous gas cloud way is this the end it is yay rats oh we're very close to level five okay we're dead in a hit I what I really want in my life is uh I'm um, sure I don't have to tell you guys it's uh well, I don't know why I can't think of it okay, well probably because of all the chaos on screen actually it's uh you know the halo halo protection strong spirit there's the car that we could have used the screwdriver on but we didn't that's okay come down this way I think kill these guys ah! Ooh, freaky. I'm a little freaked out. I'm a little bit freaked out because, um, well, what's better, the splinter pistol or not? I think with the scarier face, the splinter pistol becomes kind of a bit more viable, honestly. Not with this horrible aim. Oh, why don't we just... I kind of forgot that I could explode corpses there for a while. I'm going to take plutonium hunger. We're going down to 3-2, so far a, a decent melting run. I'm just going to do this one. Shoot. Oh. We're dead. Okay. That is not the run where we get the the awesome melting dream. Okay, daily run ends in 18 hours. Who are we gonna be? I say we're gonna be Crystal because I haven't been Crystal in a little bit. Um and I like Crystal quite a lot. Crystal can shield. Crystal has two extra HP. Oh jeez, I'm just trying to explode corpses here like I'm melting. I have a bad habit of that. Whoever I was, if it's an active that I use a lot. Uh, I, I usually try to use it with the, the new character that I happen to be. Oh, this is a lot of, it's going to be a lot of EXP. Oh, it almost tried to rob me of all that. Why don't we just go ahead and take Rhino Skid? I'm a little tempted to take Throne Butt, but we are doing daily, and I like to do well on the daily. And uh, the teleportation is super powerful, but uh, sometimes I mess it up and do really dumb things and just totally get myself killed. And I haven't, I don't use it very much anymore. I don't even remember the last time I got teleportation with Crystal. And I know that the last time I did, I got myself stupidly killed. I used to be what I would consider fairly decent with it. Uh, that is no longer the case. I really wanted to shoot my slugger. There we go. I missed the corpse exploding ability already. Because I just love it so much. Uh, so Rabbit Paw or Plutonium Hunger? I guess I'll go with Rabbit Paw. Okay. Oh, yeah, I thought I was on the slugger, actually. Like, thinking that Scorpion was gonna die, and he did not. Okay, coming down. So, two very good mutations, right off the bat. Rhino Skin makes us a 14 HP tank, which is awesome. We'll come back for him. Why don't we just finish out the level over here first, and kind of let him do his thing. Ah, oh, see that fang shot? This is all part of the master plan. I'm really hoping to get maybe scarier face. Uh, I'll take the grenade launcher. We don't have any very fast-firing weapons right now, but... We have some very high damaging weapons, which is uh, kind of kind of better. Bam, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Excellent. Going down to the sewers. Slugger deals with rats pretty good. I find sometimes rats can be a pain depending on the weapon that you have. I find the wrench is the best rat exterminator that there is. Whoa, that one went flying. Okay, okay. Give me the HPs. Get out of here. Get out of here. As good as the slugger is, it's still a little bit, can be a little bit slow for taking these guys out, but we're getting through them very slowly. Oh, oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Do we have Crown of Blood or something? Like, we haven't even really gotten away from the starting area, and like, we just can't. We just can't. HP is nice. Oh, okay, is that thing dead? No, it needs to die. Holy smokes. This is ridiculous. Is it, is it not dead or something? It's still spewing out rats or what? Max shells, good. Good. Holy fuck. This is a little bit ridiculous. We're just gonna end this level. I don't want to deal with this crap anymore. Is there anything down here that we should get? Like maybe this rad canister? We're at 8 out of 14 HP. Which is not too bad. I'm sure we can get it back up, especially with Rabbit Paw. Should help us to get a little bit more of the med kits happening. An assault slugger. It's, uh, the Gatling Slugger will be amazing. The Assault Slugger is just a big waste of ammo at this stage in the game. Uh, I'm going to go with Plutonium Hunger here. Scarier Face, very tempting. Throne Butt, a little bit tempting. But if I 
can get more of a surefire mutation. I think I'm going to take it. That's an Assault Slugger as well. I'm going to blow up all these discarded pizza boxes. Okay. Boom. Boom. Man, these friggin' turtles can be a little bit nuts. They're very fast. All right, we're almost to level five. We're going down to three and one. Things are going really well. Uh, oh my. That was awesome. Holy smoke. These levels feel very crazy. Like always. I don't know, like the last... The sewers seem kind of nuts for just a sewers level. This seems kind of nuts for just uh, the first level of Scrapyard. Perhaps it's just me. <laughs> we can't get this motherfucker. There we go. Got him with the old bank shot. Sneaky little assassin. Oh, you gotta go, my friend. You have got to go. We did get level five. We do have a toxic bow. I do not want the toxic bow. I do want I do want those rats hiding behind the wall. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Impact wrists. Or patience. I'm gonna go with impact wrists, because it's pretty darn good. I am happy enough with it. This guy's dead. Boom. Uh, whoops. Okay. Chill out. Chill out, Vicarious Viking. Blow up the flame salamander. Yeah. Oh, good. Go fetch. Stupid vulture. Fetching live grenades. I should, like, shield. And I never shield. Unless I shielded. Look at me. It didn't really work, though, because I got hit. I didn't shield very effectively. Uh, bloom. Bloom, he says. That's right. Bloom. I make up my own words. I should write for comic books. Bloom. Zap. Zorp. Zoop. Zappity boo. Okay. Get out of here, mister. Bam. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I kind of want to know what's in there. I think this will work. It's a flamethrower. No thanks. Let's go on down. We're going to be fighting Big Dog. And this is going to be kind of freaky because if it's really wide open as well. Oh, that, that dealt with a lot of the things that we needed to deal with. Okay, that guy's got to go first. He's first on the chopping block. Picking that. Followed by some of this. Followed by one of these. The big thing here is uh, that. Is that. Well, that guy's got to go. Is these things. Okay. I feel like he's going to die soon. I feel like he's way too close for comfort. Oh my god, what do I do? There we go. Go down. Run. Big explosions. Oh, shit. Nice. That that worked out well for us. There's a super splinter gun here, which I'm going to take, for sure. It'd be ridiculous not to take it. Let's go super splinter gun slugger. What is this? Is that a minigun? Oh, my goodness. I'm thinking bolt marrow. Because super splinter gun bolt marrow has got to be good, right? Okay. Definitely not bad. Ugh. It was very freaky. I don't know how well these bolts home, honestly. Oh, my. He's right, he's right on me. He's right on top of this. Good for him. Okay. Okay. Super... Fuck that. Ah! This is scary! Oh, I'm... Still... Blood launcher. Oh, a blood launcher. Do I take the blood launcher? I think I kind of want to take it over the slugger. What's the fire rate like on this? It's very decent. It's very acceptable. Does it do as much damage as a slugger? Let's find out. I don't think it does. Not to say that it doesn't do good damage. Let's hide behind this. I don't feel like it's uh, as good as a slugger, to be perfectly honest. I mean, the slugger is pretty good. It can carry a pretty far into the late game. Well, that, that thing's gotta go. That ah, kill the kill the crystal spider. The crystal spider is very unhappy. Okay, you got a piece of us. That's okay. All right. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Hammerhead. Let's do it. Let's do it. He's like auto wheeling a car. This is like first things first. He's like, I'm just gonna wheel this car. I'm, I already had it. He already had it. Oh my. Where we super splinter gun to the max. Oh, that was very freaky. Good. There's a dog hiding back here. I don't need this guy sneaking up on me. That's for sure. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's kill everything. Okay. Good. Just keep dodging the yetis. That's how we do it. 
I probably made that look easy. I can assure you it was a very harrowing experience. Okay, so as was that. All right, what do we got here? A sawed off shotgun. A dog, he's dead. We've rammed through some walls. The Yeti, also dead. I wonder if you could use Hammerhead to just run through cars and destroy them. Um, oh, the IDPD was not happy. That's like some kind of a crossbow, possibly just a regular crossbow. Maybe an auto crossbow. Nobody really knows. I don't think it was an auto crossbow. Oh, look at this. Hmm. This. Ooh, ah, oh, very close. Super Splinter Gun doesn't do quite as much damage as I kind of thought it was gonna. Oh, yeah. The, the sooner we deal with all the Yetis, the better. Oh, look at this. Crossing the streams. Never cross the streams. Hasn't Ghostbusters taught you crazy tanks anything? That was very... It was a heavy crossbow. Did, didn't the Yeti zoom up here? No. Oh. We must have killed it. We must have disposed of that Yeti. I'm very tempted to take the super crossbow. Don't get me wrong. I'm aware of its... I'm aware of its power and greatness. Let's just boom. Here we go. It's probably the best, most ammo-efficient way to deal with the snow tanks. See? Goodness. This is ridiculous. Okay, he's can do his thing. It's cool. It's cool with me. This is all it's all going well. Dead snow tank. Excellent. Whoop. Get out of there. Shotgun. We might reach level eight. It all depends on this Yeti, actually. Uh we didn't take the super split we didn't take the heavy crossbow, which I suppose is totally fine. I think it will be. Uh, none of these are good. At all. Which is unfortunate. I don't like bad mutations. Okay. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, everybody. Okay, little hunter. Where are you gonna land? I'm not crazy about that. Or that. Little hunter, where are you gonna land next? I need the cover. Why would you do this? He's dead. This is very freaky. It's hard to commentate and Little Hunter at the same time. It's just... Oh, this dog. Holy smokes, there he goes. That one got him. Okay, be cool. Yup, that's not being cool, Yeti. That's being that's being not cool. That's being very high strung. Okay, I gotta not get so close to those snow tanks when they're about to explode. Okay, HP is exactly what we need. Just spray the bolts. Sometimes you just gotta spray the bolts. There we go. That's how you do it. Uh, what the hell? Hit that motherfucking Yeti. Okay. Okay. Mmm, flak cannon. I think I'm gonna replace the slugger with the flak cannon. What is it? Ah! Maybe this isn't the best idea. I'm gonna still do it. That was a good feeling. Those Yetis are peeling. This Yeti's coming back. It's an interesting weapon, this flat cannon. Whoa, doggy. Calm her down. Let's go, what do we got over here? We're level 8 already, which is really good. We're getting up there in the levels anyway. We're going to be heading up to the labs, which I'm not sure if I have the best... I mean, the flat cannon should be okay for dealing with the labs. This is probably better over the uh, slugger. So, there is that. The... Uh, what I mean? Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, that thing's gotta die. That's a heavy crossbow. To take the heavy crossbow, or not to take the heavy crossbow. There's a, there's another necromancer up here. Son of a bitch. Oh, sneaky. We gotta kill that necro. It's gotta happen. It happened. I'm very happy about it. Very satisfied with it. Hello, level? I don't think that you should have spawned there portal. Oh. oh my gosh. I don't even know what happened, uh, but we're dead. So I guess that's going to do it for this episode. Rank 71 for now, which is not too bad. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. If you liked it, leave a like. And to see more Nuclear Throne, excuse me, to see more Nuclear Throne, you can check out my channel. Subscribe to be notified of when I come out with new videos. My name is Vicarious Viking. You guys have a great day, and I will see you later.